Hey guys, this is Captain Caleb from Captain Caleb TV. So the top three mistakes I see when people are approaching a school of redfish or even a school of trout out in the middle of the bay, birds, whatever it may be, is number one is approaching from the wrong direction. This is probably the one I see the most where there's birds are upwind from you and the boat's trying to get into it. Well, not only is it making it where you can't get the casting distance, but you're getting a lot of hole slap from your boat and that'll often break the school up. The second thing that I see is the casting in the wrong location. Uh, if you, a lot of people, they tend to, they see the mud or they see the ripples and they cast at it well by the time their lure gets there then the fish have moved on and then the third would probably be the trolling motor it, I never run my trolling motor above three whenever I'm approaching a school of redfish I like to I like to run it two and a half three I make sure that it's not bumping the bottom and I make sure that it's not buzzing water on the top uh, one thing that a lot of people don't think about is there'll be two or three guys on the front ready to cast that school of fish and your trolling motors go on and you're fine and then one of them goes to the back to grab a different rod or something well it picks that Controller matter up, it cavitates it, it blows everywhere, and quite often blow those schools up. So in conclusion, the three things that I really concentrate on whenever I'm approaching a school is I try to make sure and get upwind. Even if I have to look at that school for 10 minutes while I move around it, I get upwind of it, and then I get my trolling motor set where it's not on bottom, it's not on top. I talk with my people on the boat and say, hey, you are where you are, don't move and I slide up to them as quietly as possible. And then we try to target the outliers, the fish that are on the edges. Maybe if there's one way ahead or there's one trailing behind, we try to pick those off before going for the main school because we don't want to cook one in the middle and blow that whole school up and you have 40 fish in front of you and the results are only to catch one. So now that you know the three mistakes and how to correct them, you're set to go catch some schooling reds. For more tips and information, check us out at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America. If you're trying to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder, there's really nothing else like it. And we back all of this up with our premium education, our private insider community, and discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle that you're going to need. So we hope to see you in the insider club family soon. And thanks again for watching.